-hmm. you know, that's money that could have been used for other important things in the district. Now at 530, there is controversy at a Valley School District with less than a dozen schools. The superintendent there is making more than the superintendents is in Arizona's three largest school districts. Tonight, as Jason Berry shows us, that is not sitting well with some teachers and parents in the town of Buckeye. A cloud of controversy is hovering over the Buckeye Elementary School District after a state audit revealed the superintendent here received close to $2 million in compensation that was never made public. Start filling in your information. It's no secret Arizona schools struggle to make ends meet. There's a shortage of teachers, staff members and bus drivers, and salaries rank near the bottom nationally, which is exactly why first grade teacher Maria Moreno is so upset. She teaches in the Buckeye Elementary School District, where Superintendent Dr. Christy Wilson is under scrutiny for receiving close to $2 million more than a regular salary. I think we all just felt very um, betrayed, in a sense, um, because, you know, he, we believed that there was no money for raises, and yet, you know, she was getting a very good compensation package compared to the uh, teachers and staff of the district. The state auditor's office just released a report that states from 2016 to 2021, the district paid Wilson more than $1.7 million in additional compensation, money that was not listed on the superintendent's employment records, far surpassing the compensation given to the superintendents in Arizona's three largest school districts. News of the extra compensation has sparked outrage in the community at a time when teacher salaries remain among the lowest in the nation and schools are in need of funding for student programs and capital improvements. The Buckeye Education Association has gathered more than 500 signatures calling for Wilson's resignation. It feels like they lied to us, like there's no transparency, there's no confidence in the board. It could have been money that could have been given to teachers instead of doing a 1% raise. It could have been a 2% raise or a 3% raise. Arizona's family reached out to the superintendent and school board for comment and were sent this statement, which read in part, we strongly disagree with the Arizona Auditor General's findings that were based on a legal and public agreement between the board and Dr. Wilson. This is not money that went directly into Dr. Wilson's pockets. It was a payroll deduction that was sent directly to the Arizona State Retirement System. The board firmly believes Dr. Wilson has more than earned the salary she has been granted. So far, school board members appear to have stuck together in support of Superintendent Wilson, giving no indication they plan to ask her to step down. In Buckeye, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.